What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here, so in today's video we're going to discuss about the Osiris jailbreak, the Electra jailbreak and the Meridian jailbreak for iOS 11.3.x and iOS 10.x. This is going to be an update video so that you get to know what is currently going on, where we are at and what has to happen before we get a jailbreak. Now I'm not going to lie to you, I'm going to give you the straight facts because that's the reason this channel exists, to keep you updated and not to deceive you. And in terms of Electra, this is going to mean more weight more on that later. But I'm going to start with the Meridian since a lot of you are asking me what is going on. Remember some people are still waiting for the Meridian jailbreak created by Ben Sparks and this one will be for the iOS 10.x, especially iOS 10.3.3, iPhone 7, 7 Plus and older. But this jailbreak will pretty much be very useful for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus devices since the previous iOS 10.x jailbreaks did not support it. So what's the problem with it? Well it's still in the works, it has hasn't been released you probably are aware of that but there are some news that I would like to discuss and the first one is this one it has been posted a few days ago by Ben Sparks but he did not really explain the importance of this for the Meridian project so I will try to do it myself. Now what he managed to do is to pretty much exploit a vulnerability in Safari in WebKit in order to pretty much achieve remote code execution which is very important because this means that if this proceeds it has the uh, chance to make the Meridian jailbreak you know available from the Safari to go on a website press go and there you are you are jailbroken with the Meridian which would of course take out the um, need for the CDI impactor which I find very important he's currently fiddling with this vulnerability and he managed to get it working quite well but we're yet to see if he is going to included in the Meridian. Remember he said that the Meridian jailbreak has the potential to become an untethered jailbreak and this is one of the advantages over the Electra on iOS 11.x. Anyways, people waiting for the Meridian, it's still going to take some time, so it's still not released, but there are good news. He is indeed making progress, so please be patient. Now, speaking about patience, the Electra team. Yes, a lot of you are asking me when the Electra jailbreak will be released. We have the exploit, we have the jailbreak nearly done, Coolstar announced it on Twitter a lot and he teased it a lot on his Twitter account, posted pictures of Cydia working and so on. Where is the jailbreak? Well, as you probably are aware or if you're new in here, I'm going to tell you, we still need a remount. Now, let me explain what this remount actually is. When you're jailbreaking, the partition where all the system files are kept is actually read-only because the device doesn't have any need to modify the system files. It just has the need to read them and open them in the memory and do operations with them. So naturally the partition is locked as being read only. Now normally in any jailbreak that I'm aware of, the root file system partition gets remounted as read and write so that we're able to drop Cydia in there, we're able to drop the binaries that are required in order to make Cydia and substrate and whatever working. So there are a lot of files that we need to put in there and if the partition is read only we can't put our files in there. So we will need of course to remount it but the remount that we had working for the iOS 11.x that was used in the past Electrum and that worked up until iOS 11 point two point I think two is no longer working for some reason Apple introduced something in the APFS that is no longer allowing that to work and you do not have persistence anymore so we have to fix that the Electra team is currently working on that Jonathan Levin is currently working on that and there are many people working on that actively but for the moment there is no final solution that can be integrated in the Electra and therefore Electra is currently put on hold until that solution comes out. The Electra team claims to have a zero day that is kept for the iOS 12 so that is not an option and Minspark Zing actually posted this a few days ago quote be patient Jonathan Levin told me in Mosec last Friday that he will update Killian maybe this week with APFS rootfs remount for iOS iOS 11.3.1. However, there is absolutely nothing to back up this information in here. Now, although Killin does provide a rootfs remount that doesn't work on iOS 11.3.1, so it hasn't been updated yet, and there is absolutely no information, official information from Jonathan Levin that would confirm that we get anything this week. So do not get your hopes up. I'm not entirely sure uh, what he has discussed with Minspark Zeng, but nothing has been announced, so 
Yeah, and actually he did announce something in here, and if you take a look on his profile, he says, quote, Hey ATA folk, which do you prefer for a rootfs remount? A half-backed, cut-paste code, which usually works but may totally break your device now, or a rigorously tested code which is tried and true but later? So what Jonathan tries to say in here is that he can of course release something that barely ever works, but why would he do that when he can release something that is tried, that is tested, that works fine as a remount for the root file system? So I'm not entirely sure where uh, MinSpark Zen got his information, but it's definitely not accurate since Jonathan posted this after MinSpark Zen posted his uh, statement in here, pretty much confirming that nope, it's not going to happen this week. So please do not spam Jonathan Levin, he's not going to release it just because you spam him. It still isn't completed and you can see that it's not completed just by his tweet in here which pretty much says that you know it's half baked for the moment it's not complete now this is pretty much it about the Electra, it's still going to take a while, as I said, I'm not going to lie to you, this is not a point of a channel, there is a lot to do in the background and we do not have the remount, and of course this means that Electra is still on hold and it may not be released this week either, but of course I will keep you updated once progress is being made. So this is it with the status of the Electra. Now a lot of people are asking me about Osiris Jailbreak 2, now the Osiris Jailbreak is my own jailbreak for the iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.2. 11.3.1 and it's a project I'm currently working on, it's an alpha 3 version. Now the problem with this project is that it suffers from the same flow Electra is suffering from. So the problem is that we do not have a remount, the jailbreak works perfectly fine on iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.2.2 but anything else that requires a new remount wouldn't work. So yeah, I also need a remount in order to make my jailbreak to work. So you can see that it's not a problem invented by the Electra team, they're not lying to you saying that they need a remount just to not release, nope, some people actually thought that some people thought that the Electra team is actually making it up, it's actually, you know, lying that there is a need for a new remount. Nope, I can confirm you firsthand that a remount is indeed needed in order to complete this jailbreak, because my own jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1 doesn't work without a new remount that I don't have. So yes, it is a real problem, we need to be patient and let the Electra team do their job. So this is pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, I really hope this video helped to to, you know, inform you on what's currently going on so that you do not have to search every hour and every minute what's going on with a specific jailbreak. Now, if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, give this video a thumb up. If you didn't like the video for some reason, do not forget, give it a thumb down. I'm Geosnow, until the next time, peace out.